I'm gonna show you tips on how you can potentially lose weight in your overall base weight, as well as stay cleaner when you're in the back country. But first, how's it going guys? My name is Dave and this channel is called Off Grid. And on this channel, I like to talk about all things backpacking, hiking, camping, and gear. And today I'm talking about ways in which you could potentially save weight in your overall base weight. Um, and then more importantly, how you can kind of combat that uh, hiker stank when you're out there. So. Um, you get pretty nasty, you get pretty sweaty, and you get pretty smelly when you're in the backcountry, and you're gonna hear a lot of people say, well, you just gotta deal with the stink when you're out there, and I refuse to uh, buy into that. I really hate being sweaty and nasty and disgusting out there. And traditionally in the past, especially if I'm just going on a weekend trip, I'll usually try to do something like a wipey shower or something like that, and that kind of gets rid of some of the grime and some of the stink, but it's not gonna get rid of it all, and you're still gonna feel pretty nasty by the time you're hiking taken out of there after you know two to three days of uh, backpacking in the backcountry. So I've got tips for you guys today on um, how to be cleaner most of all. But if you are a fan of bringing extra weight in your pack by way of extra clothes, then this is definitely something that you're going to want to listen to because um, with these five items and a potential six um, thrown in there, um, you can definitely um, accomplish everything that I had just mentioned. So let's just dive right into the different items that I have for you guys today. The first of which is kind of uh, nasty because I've used it a little bit, but this is just a, a Swedish chamois. Um, you're going to want to use this um, for your body um, for sort of taking a, a military shower. So that's my pro tip for today and that's what we're going to shoot for today and that is going to be um, to sort of like take a shower when you're out there. I'm not talking about jumping in a stream but let me just describe what I'm talking about here. Um, another thing that I'm going to mention that I recommend you guys take and that you can use for more than one purpose is this thing right here. This is just a Silpoly um, kitchen sink is what they call this from Sea to Summit. It uh, has some carry handles on the side here. It folds up really small. It only weighs an ounce and a half. I forget what the Swedish chamois weighs. I think this is like under an ounce, something like that. Um, but under two ounce option here, it's really large. You can fit quite a lot of water. You can probably stash, um, you know, at least one to two liters of water in here. I forget what the overall capacity is. Maybe I'll throw it up on screen here for you guys, but um, very easy to either scoop stuff up from a stream or um, better yet, especially if you're taking a shower and you're getting stuff like on your face and whatnot, you might wanna put filtered water in here if you wanna take the extra precaution. But uh, I'd recommend getting one of these guys. And to combo that up, another piece that you're gonna need for this military shower is going to be a little bottle of Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile Soap. This is just a, a very tiny option. You don't even have to bring this much. You can bring a lot less because it's super concentrated. You really don't need that much. It lathers up quite a lot. This is the smallest one that I was able to find. This is a two fluid ounce bottle. So um, if I'm going out there, I'm probably gonna bring a lot less than this. Um, but this can be used for your military shower as well. And then the second to last piece is going to be this guy right here. And I found this off of Amazon. This weighs, and you know, the Castile soap really depends on how much you bring as far as the weight goes. Um, but this one weighs, uh, I think about an ounce and a half, something like that. If I'm wrong, I'll throw it up on screen, but it's basically just a screw on uh, shower head that you can, um, attached to your one liter smart water bottle or essentia bottle or whatever and uh, has a bunch of different holes in it so that you can you know just shower yourself down uh, pretty easily and effectively and then the last item that I'm going to mention I don't have a good option to show you I could have grabbed like a heavier option to show you but um, the last item I'm going to talk about is going to be um, I'm going to I'm going to pull out another one here from Sea to Summit it's, their, it's called their air light towel it's a um, it's going to be their uh, body towel so one of their larger options but it's ultra lightweight and that one again only weighs somewhere around like 1.7 ounces something like that under two ounces for a very large towel and those are all the pieces that you need for your military shower I'm gonna talk about the potential six item right now because if I haven't already thrown up b-roll you probably already saw it and that's going to be this guy here this is my most favorite piece and most versatile gear that I had mentioned in another video and that is um, both my um, rain protection it is what I am dubbing a poop shield as well as you can use it as a ground sheet or as a platform for your military shower here and this is the um, poncho slash tarp 
and you can basically just lay that on the ground um, and then just put you know your bare feet on that and take a military shower on top of um, that as you know kind of like your your platform for your shower if you don't want to be like on muddy ground or, or in some some grass or whatever so you can use that if you need to as well so basically it's self-explanatory from there you just um, you know screw on the cap to your one liter bottle um, you lay out your poncho, um, you get down to your skivvies, down to your underwear, and um, you know, hose yourself down. If you've ever taken a military shower before, I'm sorry that I'm kind of like repeating myself here, but for those who haven't, you basically just wet yourself down first. You're gonna use a little bit of your Castile soap right here. Um, put a bunch of water into your, your kitchen sink here. Put some Castile soap in here and then just kind of like mix it up and get it all soapy and then you're going to use your sponge right here after you've wet yourself down dunk it into your your sill sink right here and then basically use this as like a washcloth to kind of like really get in on your hair and all over your body and then just kind of like wring it out off to the side and then rinse and repeat until you're all lathered up and then the last step in a military shower is to just to grab your bottle again and uh, hose yourself down you grab your air light towel at the end of it to dry off the rest of yourself and then um, the only other thing that you need is just you know a spare set of underwear basically uh, that's like the most minimal amount of pieces that you can grab uh, would just be an extra pair of underwear however I definitely enjoy bringing in an entire extra set of clothes but um, I had mentioned in the past that I am a fan of bringing extra clothes into the backcountry but whereas before I would take a shirt for pretty much every single day a pair of underwear as well as a pair of socks for pretty much every single day now all I have is the hiking clothes that I go out with and then one extra set and um, basically just bring this with me and it ended up saving um, a bunch of ounces close to at least six ounces just by ditching like an extra shirt and pair of underwear and socks and replacing it with these so the total weight of all this minus the poncho is i don't know somewhere around six ounces something like that i'll, I'll throw that up here too um, as for the total ounces so if you think about the the weight of an extra shirt socks and underwear that's that's close to uh, anywhere from 10 to 12 ounces right there. So uh, depending on which one, you know, which set of clothes you went with. So um, this can definitely save weight and then it can also make you cleaner in the backcountry. One of the things that I can mention here is that, um, you know, with this uh, sill sink, and I think this is inside out. Oops, had it right the first time. <laughs> but with this sill sink, what you can end up doing is um, obviously not at the same time. You wanna make sure that you dump your, your shower water after you're done, but if you brought a little bit of extra soap, you can refill the sill sink here, get some extra soap in there, and then end up cleaning out your pots and pans with it as well. It's, uh, you know, basically originally what it is made for um, was to be used as a portable kitchen sink when you're out there for stuff like that, cleaning down utensils and whatnot. So um, I just found another use for it with these other items. So I'm um, really excited to use this out in the field. I haven't yet, but I definitely want to because I've been on one too many backpacking trips now where you get really gross after uh, that first night. And, um, you know, I just want to be a little bit cleaner when I'm out there. And this is definitely going to help me achieve that. So let me know what your thoughts are on this method today, guys, down below. Am I completely crazy? Would you be willing to try something like this out there? Um, I think this would be particularly helpful for through hikers even though they might not want to carry you know the weight of this type of system but I definitely think that you can get pretty squeaky clean or close to it with this system that I have for you guys right here. So thanks so much for watching this week, guys. I really appreciate you. Uh, let me know again your comments down below on this system and if you would consider using it. And remember, if you're headed off grid, make sure you do your research and you make it a safe one. I'll see you on the next one.